Hi, it's Wildman Rouse here, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about creative cropping. That's using cropping to really tell the story of your picture that you want to, and ignoring the standard ways of cropping a picture. So let's have a look at some examples, and you'll get the idea. These are the two images that I wanna show you a little bit about cropping uh, to improve. You can see, they're shot a little bit ridiculously tight, right? I mean, uh, I couldn't zoom back. Why couldn't you zoom back? You're saying, well, because I had a fixed 500 mil lens in the days when I used them. Now I have my lovely uh, OM Systems uh, 150 to 400. I could quite happily zoom back and get the head and take a much more interesting picture that I could crop to my heart's content. But unfortunately, I was also very inexperienced then. I didn't turn it to portrait when I maybe should have seen the potential there. Uh, but there was nothing we could do, you know, we couldn't move the vehicle any further back, we were stuck. And that does show you the downsides of a uh, fixed focal length lens. Anyway, let's have a look what we can do to improve these. So I'm going to drag the first one in Photoshop. Of course, you can use Lightroom if you like. I'm just not an expert, so I'm using Photoshop. Um, I'm grabbing a crop, okay, and from the menu up there, I'm grabbing a 2 by 3 which is... Um, you know, opposite to the one most of you use a three by two, and I'm just using a two by three because I'm converting this to portrait mode. Because portrait, I bet a lot of you don't ever think of putting your pictures in portrait mode. Um, it can be a really, really effective tool for telling a very intimate story. It's useful if you want to publish like me on the cover of a magazine because they give us more money if we publish on the cover than anywhere else. So covers are always really cool. Um, on Instagram, it can look really brilliant publishing a portrait. But in this case, I'm just interested in how it looks as a picture and what the best story is. So if you notice there with the guide here, um, I've kind of stopped the top right hand side. So I've got a little bit of the, 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 the hair coming off the forehead there. I've got the eye in the top right. I've got the cuff there. And right at the bottom in the corner, um, I've got the paw. Now, um, it's always best just to fiddle with this, you know, and just to try and work out what the best crop is. So if I come to about there, that might be actually a better crop. Um, why don't we just hit enter and see. Ready? Should we do it? That's quite nice, apart from you can see I've got a thin green line at the top there, or I didn't quite crop it right enough. So let's just bring it down a tiny amount and crop it there. Right, there we go. Now, that is a very effective and powerful crop, I think, um, because it shows the line there with an intent it shows the really cute cub nuzzling in and they're balanced on either side of the center line what i don't like is a little bit of grass at the bottom when actually i could have a bit more of head at the top so let's do this live because i always try and do these things live let's undo both of those crops okay and then let's go back and re-crop it okay so what i'm going to do is re-crop it but i'm going to take out that bottom piece a bit more and see if i can get a little bit more of the head at the top and have the corner of the paw and the bottom. Do you see that there, see that composition? Um, yeah, let's try that. Oh yeah, that's a lot better, isn't it? It's a lot more powerful because it's coming out from the bottom of the frame here, from the bottom left, leading across to the beautiful uh, young line and then up to the up to the dad's face, which I think is fantastic. Um, yeah, so that you can see there, very, very simply, I've shown how to get something quite powerful out of that image when maybe you looked at it you think oh i got the crop wrong it's not very good in camera so let's have a look at this other one now which is slightly more difficult i think and see what we can do to make it a bit more attractive um it's going to pick again the two by three crop that we had and we could do you know what we could actually probably just use that um i wonder if we should bring in that ear though that's on the right hand side so let's just Maybe shift it across a bit where we get we go the wrong way. Let's go. Uh, it's going to go very slowly here. Um, and already I can see the reason of doing it slowly is if I bring that ear into the right hand side there, um, it will take the cub too far across to the left hand side. Now, just hold the thought about doing that, okay? Because we're going to come back to using that ear because I think that ear is quite good. So let me just center that crop again. So I'm going to get it in the right place. I'm going to move it slightly to the right there. So we've got that. See that right in the right-hand corner? The paw is there. Um, I think that's quite good. Um, we're just getting a little bit of the green on top. So I'm just going to go down and should we hit it there? Let's give it a go. Oh, I've still got the green on top. Look, keep doing that. You can tell I'm doing this live. There you go. So again, that's a very, very powerful picture because you've got the dominance of the line really big in the frame with the cub underneath. I think that looks really, really cool. Okay, so that's a nice crop that you might not have thought of. Now, of course, there is another crop there because I'm a great believer, okay, in the fact that there's more than one image 
final image from every picture that you take. You shouldn't just like, oh, that's the way it comes out the camera, I'm gonna use it. You should do different things to it. So here, I'm gonna go and use the crop, but I'm gonna pick the one-to-one -one square. Now, remember I told you about the ear? Have a look at the ear there. See, the ear there works nicely, doesn't it? What we're gonna do is just shift it across a tiny bit to balance it um, on either side, because I've got a little bit too much dead uh, in the top left there. And look at that, when I press enter and it's cropped it, of course, it's cropped it really, really nicely into a square. A square is really good, by the way, not only for social media, for greetings cards, for prints, all kinds of things. But again, what we want to do here is tell the story, okay? I'm not bothered about the fact that the bottom of the paw is cut off. These things, they just, just, just don't matter to me, you know? They matter to someone that's pedantic. I'm not pedantic. I just want to do the best thing I can with this image in the minimum time I can. So you can see it's got oh, it's got a little bit of space there on top left, but I think it's all right. But it's a nice, compelling image. And you can see that out of that original image, we got two quite nice ones, didn't we? We got a, you know, a, a, a portrait and a square. So it just does show you that, of course, with any image that you take, you do have lots of cropping options. Well, there you go. That's a very short video on creative cropping. I hope it gives you some ideas uh, that you can do to improve the story that your pictures tell. Don't listen to somebody else's uh, ratio for cropping. Think about your own. Think about what, how you want to show the picture and do it. That's always what I do. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Bye now. Creature Features is a brand new, feel-good Facebook community from the team at Andy Rouse Photography. Featuring exclusive content from an award-winning 25-year professional career, it's an inspiring insight into the natural world. For less than the price of a monthly coffee, we will bring you fun slideshows like these, animal focused creature features like these, in a long tongue, so that it can get inside those Corollas video stories, just like this one. Jaw dropping photos and sequences, and some travel diaries as well. That was fantastic. She came out of the crack in the rock. She was looking around. I managed to video at the same time as taking some nice stills. It was just brilliant. I just love it. All for less than the price of a coffee. So why not try us out for a month or two it's easy to subscribe, as you can see here. Just go to the at Wildman Rouse Facebook page, give us a like, and the blue subscribe button will pop up at the top. Just follow the link, subscribe, and you'll see our exclusive content pop up for you. Trust us, it's so worthwhile, you're gonna love it.